Hi, beloved friends. This is your friend, Suna Sunman, and I'm going to make maybe one of the most important videos that I've made and possibly the most challenging video to accept. And uh, that's because uh, we want to see things in a specific way or we've um, been accustomed to see things in a specific way. But I wanna let you know that I'm in this with you too. So I'm giving you a metaphor to kind of grasp and understand who we are and where we're at. So this metaphor is like there's a perfect ideal computer that was made that can do anything and it's just develops the most beautiful, joyous, wonderful things but it gets a virus. And the virus has a program that um, self-protects the virus because anytime the virus is questioned, it, it sends out like attack. It, it rejects whatever new information comes um, because this virus wants to continue to live. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in terms of what I guess is more popular to say is you know, our divine self, our original divine self, which would be the wonderful ideal computer. And um, the ego gone mad is what I'm gonna call the virus. So the ego gone mad is the virus. Um, the ego is was part of the original operating system, um, but it's, it's become distorted and it's become something that uh, works really hard to protect itself. So it rejects any kind of new input, any kind of fix, um, any kind of um, support that would bring it back to the original state and us back into our divine Christed states. Now I'm gonna add another layer of that for those of you who um, see us as beings um, on multi-dimensions, um, other other um, types of beings, which we would call maybe extra extraterrestrial, and the um, reptilian being, which is being given the uh, responsibility or the, or the cause or the blame for making everything so warlike and negative and destructive um, on this earth. Okay, if we can imagine that we were these idyllic beings, we are now um, cross-mixed with the reptilian. So the real shifting that's to be done is within ourselves. Whether we're looking at what we call reptilian, negative, evil um, f forces and behaviors, or we're talking about the ego gone wild, it's basically like a virus introduced into this perfect Christ-like divine being. I mean, if we were created by the divine, then there's only divine that is here. Now, what is this virus? Well, our creative ability allows us to choose many different ways of thinking, many different uh, perspectives. Uh, and that's a beautiful thing. I mean, if I give the example of uh, a room for, full of artists trying to uh, paint the same model in the middle of the room, you're going to get many, many different um, perspectives, uh, styles, um, coloring, uh, lighting, all sorts of different uh, expressions of the same thing, that's the same object that's being seen. Now, that also happens, you know, when we go as a group out into an activity, for example. If you ask each one of each individual in the group what 
their experience was, you would get different stories, sometimes very similar and matching and sometimes um, very unique, different, but no two will be exactly the same unless one has given up their own internal experience from their perspectives, from their eyes, and has just adapted somebody else's story as the story. Now that is the case in a lot of what's going on now. If you would just breathe, focus in on your breath, be present in the now, you would know what you're experiencing. When you turn on the news and you're told what you're experiencing, you are stepping out of sight of yourself. Now there's a thing called compassion. We do have compassion where we can um, ex ex or take in somebody else's experience. And what we need to know is by taking in that other person's experience and recognizing them is fine as itself. But when we go one step for, further and make their experience your own, you're stepping out of your, sight of yourself again. And now I'll go into semantics a little bit. Empathy is when you step in and make that person's experience your own. And that's all you're doing. Misery loves company. That person's miserable, now you're miserable, right? Um, that person's frightened, now you're frightened. Um, that person's sad, now you're sad. Uh, we can also have empathy and joy, enjoy in areas as well. That person's excited about what they've accomplished, we can be excited about what they've accomplished as well. That tends to be a little bit more genuine because Joy is lifting us up into higher vibrations. And that is our natural inclination, is to grow into higher vibrations, um, into more joy, into more beauty. Um, it, it even, it feels good. And that's how we know that that's our natural inclination. There's a flow and ease with it. So compassion is accepting another person's experiencing, holding space for that person, but acting or in the way that would bring the highest and best good. So to become miserable with that person, to become fearful with that person, it would be to lower your vibration. And that goes against your natural growth inclination, your natural beingness. So this is something that we need to be aware of is that there's a virus that has been taken in because we do have free will. We can choose what we want to choose. And that thought virus is what lowers our vibration. And in lowering our, vibra our vibration, we're going against the original design, the natural um, status of our being, of lifting in vibration. And then that's when things start not working well. That's when illnesses come in. That's when um, bad feelings come in. Illnesses both in um, physical and mental illnesses, emotional uh, disturbances and stuff come in. So I did say that this would be challenging because we've also been taught within this virus to, to think a lot, to be very smart. The more we think, the smarter and the better we are. And thinking a lot is not necessarily smart. Um, when we ask many, many why questions, they can go one of two ways. Um, if we're asking why questions about why does that person do things that way? Why is this stuff happening outside of myself? We can get incredibly creative and uh, think up all sorts of nasty and mean things. 
But if we turn those why questions inside to ourselves and say, why am I feeling this way? Why do I think? Why am I choosing this thought, which is actually very unkind to myself and um, damaging and causing more uh, lowered vibration emotions? Um, we almost don't need to ask why if we start going down in our low vibrations, but then to ask to be corrected, to be corrected. If we understand the divine as love, as a trustable being with joy and compassion, then we must know that that's what we are in our essence. And when we go towards expanding the love, trust, joy, compassion, then we are in our natural flow of our beingness, of who we are, growing and expanding in that. Just like our Creator, the Divine Father, Mother, um, Source, whatever you want to call the energy. But when we start going away from love, trust, joy, compassion, then we need to understand that our virus is running. And our virus is, um, is taking our free will choices. So if you can get back to a, a zero point of being nothing, being absolutely nothing, like God hovering over the void, you're at the zero point and you can make a choice in one direction or the other. There's only two directions, either towards expanding the love, trust, joy, and compassion, or away from, or contracting away from it. And that there's a just a natural divine principle that as you choose to go in the expansion of love, trust, joy, and compassion, you feel lighter. You have these um, higher vibrations. When you choose to contract away from those things, then you um, will feel heavier and have those heavier emotions. It's just, it's just a natural dynamic. And it's wonderful that it's such a natural dynamic because it gives us um, a clue. It gives us a, a, a that we're going in our natural divine growth or we're going away from it. And it's fine to make these choices that we're making because we're learning through it all. Um, yet I have chosen to go the way of ease, to go in the flow of the, uh, the dove, divine, just more awareness of the Christ of being that I was made to be. Um, we have, as humanity, gone through a lot of doctrines and dogmas and laws and teachings that pull us away from that awareness of the divine being that we are, created by a divine being. We've been taught that there's a divine being up here and we're separate. We're separate. We're something else. Now, let's look at that logic. Okay, there's one source, one creator who's divine, and then we're separate as if we're another creator. There's a second creator involved in this. And the thing is, there is a second creator involved in this. But who is that second creator? That's ourselves. That's our own thinking, our own perspectives. We can either have our creations being in line with the one creation, the one creator, the divine, or out of line. And the out of line is like the virus that we introduced something new. Okay, I don't know 
If you have questions, please put them in the comments below. I can um, follow through with other videos. Um, I think the basic thing to do is to just kind of sit right now and take some breaths. Just notice your breaths. And then notice through a body scan your feelings and sensations through your body your feelings and sensations through not just your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body. Is your mental body like choppy waters? Lots of thoughts, lots of, why did they do this? Why am I like that? Why, why, why? Or can the waters calm to the void? You can be like God or nothingness floating over the void. And then in this moment, choose a thought, a direction of love, trust, joy, and compassion, expanding. with love. I do love you. And that's a whole topic in itself that we need to get into. Is the virus love versus the divine love. The divine love is very simple. And the virus love pulls us away. So in the interest of making this short, loving, as easy to digest as possible, but as easy to digest as possible while recognizing that it may be challenging to accept that you are the creator of your experience. And if that experience is raising in greater love, trust, compassion, and joy, you're in the flow. And if it's contracting away from that, that virus is running, running you. So with much love and blessings, go forward today. Enjoy and blessing.